The Honourable Member Kelvin Davis. Thank you, Mr Chair. Mr Chair, uh, uh, mine and Tau Henare's esteemed elder from Ngāti Hine, Sir James Henare, once said, uh, we have come so far not to go further, we have done so much not to do more. And I think that that really should summarise this bill, because this bill does a heck of a lot, but it just doesn't quite go far enough. It does a lot, but it, it could have done more. And one of the big, thing, big areas where it could have done more is in reducing the, uh, the blood alcohol level from 0.08 to 0.05, because that would have saved lives. That would have probably saved the lives of the three people I spoke about earlier, to, uh, earlier tonight. And there we go, the, the, the mouse from the south is squeaking again, he's chirping from his seat, but he doesn't jump up and actually contribute anything of any substance. But Mr, Mr Chair, as I say, that reduction would have saved lives. Instead, as Ian Lees Galloway has said, the, the National Party were waiting for some polls. They were waiting for, to, to get the feel of the nation before they actually made a decision for, for themselves. Because... <clears throat> Despite the fact that they're a, a party that pride themselves on individual rights and uh, individual responsibilities, <clears throat> those values go out the door uh, when, when need be. And, and I think they actually live by the rule that these are our values. If you don't like them, we have others. And another area that, uh, they could, that I think that they've uh, gone too far is raising the age from 15 to 16 for new drivers because... Take my daughter, for, for example, is 15. She's coming up 16 in, in June. She's going for her licence, but we, as responsible parents, have decided, no, she's not quite yet ready to sit her licence. So she'll probably sit, uh, get her, her uh, the next stage. She's already allowed to drive around and, uh, with an adult in the seat. But she, uh, we, we've said that she can't go for the next stage until we think that she's ready. And she won't be ready for another couple of months. But that's our, our uh, choice as responsible parents. And I thought that's what that party stood for, Ind individual rights and individual choice. But of course, in an instance like this, they actually throw those values right out the window and they choose others because they were a bit scared of what the polls would say. They're, they're, they're a bit scared that... Well, they're, they're, sorry, I shouldn't have said that, but, but they're, uh, they're, a party that, uh, they're a party that have to wait... Uh, for the feedback and the, and the what are those groups that they, um, they ring around and see what people, focus groups, they ring around and see what people are going to say. They test the water, they, they test the water with their little toe and then when, oops, when uh, things don't, uh, yeah, as, uh, I think Winston Peters was the one who said, you don't test the water with both feet, only a fool does that. Mr Chair, um, the, this whole issue about raising uh, the age to 16 does hurt those of us who live out in rural areas. Uh, up in Kaitaia there, we have a fledging bus company that uh, runs on biofuel, would you believe? And they, uh, they service, from Kaitaia as the centre, they service about 40 um, a minute drive, north, east, south, no sorry, north it's about an hour and a half, east it's about 45 minutes, west it's about 40 minutes. But this fledging bus company uh, has it's not like a, the, there's a bus at the bus stop every five minutes like you'd find in the, in the city centres. So the people up north actually um, can't rely on a public transport service and so it's, we do need our kids to be able to drive. Uh, Mr Chair, we do uh, have sports fields. Uh, Kaitaia is the centre, but there's a lot of sports fields in outlying areas where, uh, where kids from, uh, kids from Kaitaia actually need to get out to their sports practices and uh, this is just going to make things just that little more difficult. It was interesting to hear Jackie, Jackie, Blue saying, Jackie Blue saying that there's so many more cars on the road these days, so many more since when she uh, got her licence. And um, that's true and it makes you wonder why the, the, this government is promoting policies that actually just put more cars on the road. And why can't they look at policies that remove cars for, uh, we remove cars and trucks from the road, such as investing in public transport, such as investing in rail, a, a decent rail network across the country, because as I said earlier... Order, order. I'm sorry to interrupt the Honourable Member, but can I just like to advise members on both sides of the House that interjection should be directed to the person who has the floor. 
It's not a time to have a private engagement between members who do not have the floor. It's totally out of order and it's uh, discourteous. I call the honourable member Kelvin Davis. Thank you, Mr. Chair. It's all right. We know that Tau Henare's best, the honourable Tau Henare's days, best days are behind him, and Hillary College was a long time ago. Now, Mr. Um, Chair, so I'm not sure why uh, this government keeps perpetuating uh, policies that actually form. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. I call the honourable member. Kelvin Davis. Thank you, Mr Chair. I'll just finish off. But I'm not sure why this government keeps perpetuating policies that put more cars on the road instead of looking at ways of taking cars off, off the road and creating safer roads in that way. Because they're, they're, um, they're docu they talk about these, the Safer Journeys um, document. Safer Journeys. Surely removing heavy traffic from Northlands roads, please. Northlands, windy... Shockingly upgraded roads, removing traffic from, uh, from those roads would actually make life safer for us up in the north. See, the Kaitaia, um, uh, up in Kaitaia, the booze bus is a regular visitor up there, Mr. Um, Mr. Chair, and it's a regular visitor up there because it keeps on getting, catching people uh, who, who drink drive. Uh, and I think that we need to send a message. We need to send the message to uh, drink drivers that we, that we are getting harder, that we're not going to accept, uh, that we're going to accept a lesser uh, level of intoxication. And I think that, uh, that the message that should have been sent home, it's a missed opportunity by this government. Uh, they should have reduced the, uh, their blood alcohol level to 0.05. As Sir James Hennard has said, they've come so far, unfortunately, they could have gone further. They've done a lot, I'll give them credit, but they could have done more. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. I call the Honourable 